Welcome to Two Minute Doctrine. Our goal in this series is to articulate a Christian doctrine in two minutes or less. In a previous video, we discussed theology as a science and identified four tools for doing theology. Scripture, tradition, reason, and experience. In this video, we're going to continue to explore the question, what is theology? There are three facets to understanding the work of theology. Listening, restating, and relevance. Listening refers to the humility to listen to the Word of God. God the Father puts it rather pointedly at Jesus' baptism. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. Wait, did I hear you right? Theology isn't about books no one can understand? Listening well may be hard for many beginning to do the work of theology, but it is crucial. We don't read God's Word to confirm our own bias or experiences. The second facet of theology is restating. The term theologians use for restating what we've heard from Scripture is dogmatics. Dogmatics is about the church giving its yes and amen to God's self-revelation. You know, I've been thinking, dogmatics is a strange word. You've got the word dog, which is woof woof, and matics, which it means meticulous. Maybe. Which means we have a dog who's meticulous about his Bible reading. Dogmatics is a religious teaching of a particular community. Christian dogmatics is the reiteration of what Scripture reveals about God within a church's tradition. The goal of listening to God and reflecting or restating this belief is relevance, applying biblical truth to the individual. Oh, finally, yes, I can say it. How is this relevant to me? Yes, it is good to apply theology to the individual. We call that moral theology or practical theology. But the order is crucial. First, God speaks. Second, we restate what God has said. And third, we apply that understanding to ourselves and others. This is the format of many of the Psalms. Take Psalm 8, for example. Listening, you have set your glory above the heavens. Reflecting, when I look at your heavens, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Relevance, you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with the glory and honor. Now, John Bainbridge Webster summarizes this thought. Such listening is to be the basic dynamic of our lives. As Christians get together on the Lord's Day, the chief task is to hear what God says. But listening to Jesus is not only a religious business, it is a way, the way of being human. Well, we hope you enjoyed this quick summary of a Christian doctrine. Please like and share for more videos just like this one. If there's a specific Christian doctrine that you'd like us to cover, please leave it in the comment section below. Man, this listening thing doesn't just apply to theology. It also applies to women. Here's a clip teaching us how not to listen. Mm -hmm. Lord Business stole the craggle. Blah, blah, blah. Proper name, place name, backstory yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Is the special and disarm it forever. Great. I think I got it. But just in case, tell me the whole thing again. I wasn't listening. <gasps>